Zen was Zone Zero. <clears throat> Are you here to listen to one of my poems? There are one dead each. Let's hear it. On such a cloudless day I sigh. Such perfect weather, yet not a Denny. Because the Denny's are melting away in my pocket like ice cream. No Denny's to spend. Too lazy to earn more. The vastness of New Eridu, now swept up by the tide of an epidemic. At first only one person in one Bangu were infected, but as time passed, everyone became doomed. If you ask me the name of the scourge, I will tell you. Being broke. What a terrible academic. I am angry. I stomp my feet. I shout in rage. My money's always spent so soon. You can clap now. I feel like I've heard this somewhere before. Finally, someone took out my commission and gave that annoying Bang Boo a good beating. My wallet might be empty now, but it feels like my good fortune is already back. How can you be sure? I just bought a can of coffee from the convenience store, and I won another can for cop for free. Looks like my luck has taken a turn for the better. Now I need to make some cash fast to recover from all the losses from before. Well, first I'll spend the rest of this month's salary on lottery tickets. Then I'll put some in the savings while I invest the rest on the stock market. You gotta chill, dude. <laughs> Don't you worry. It was that darn golden bang boo draining all of my luck and fortune. But this time... So long as I work as hard, work hard on investing, I should be able to strike it rich. Fool. You will become penniless. Ooh. Hi. You're a debt collector, are you? I visited a few stores and found out they've been secretly raising prices on weekends and then lowering them slightly on weekends, calling it a promotion. Hmm. You know, this girl would have almost been perfect had she not had the elf ears. I'm not all up on elf ears. You should report this to public security, by the way. Public security does offer rewards, but it doesn't meet my standards. If I want to make a living out of it, I need to be ruthless. The smell of dishonest merchants permeates the street, naturally drawing in scavengers like me who feed on it. Sometimes certain merchants even hire people to track my movements, forcing me to hide in advance. Now I have to conceal my identity and conduct undercover investigations. That sounds exhausting, Miss Vulture. Hey, it's just a figure of speech. Don't give me a nickname like that. Seriously, that's even worse than being called the Bad Review Witch. So you're the Bad Review Witch? Hmm, should I major in Hobble Exploration or Etheric Applications? No, I just can't decide which one to choose. You're overthinking it. Look at me, I never worry about that stuff. Yeah, because you're, because with your grades, you don't really have much of a choice. Damn. Why are you gonna bully like that? And you wonder why you're single. <laughs> we didn't do the rounds around this time, so... Weekends are always so busy. I always have to clean up the mess after every show. But Mondays are a bit more relaxed. The cinema isn't as crowded. You can finally take a break. A break? No, I'll make the most of my free time and pick up another gig after work. Huh? We'll make some knockoffs. That should bring us good fortune. Or bring us a fortune. Sounds illegal. What? How can you say that? I just fulfilling the dream of my customers to buy luxury goods at roll prices. Dreams of grabbing small adventures are still dreams. I'm not a criminal. I'm obviously a dream enabling magician. Okay. Criminal. Bro is having. Oh my god. Bro is having the most uncomfortable date right now. He's supposed to be on a date with a girl, yet she's on her phone, and he's just like... Uh, so, you, uh... Um... Uh... Hmm... <laughs> Man, uh, what are these seats made of? That's exactly what he's thinking. 
Like, that is what he is thinking as she sits there and scrolls through her phone and ignores him no matter what. Actually, I thought we came here in the afternoon the first time. I think I did. There's just some new characters now, at least. Oh, wow, we'll get here. A group of students stands by the tutoring center at, talking about the exam they just finished. I don't even remember what half of their voices were. Did Ellen also do well this time? It's an ideal score. What? Ellen, you studied hard behind my back. Were we up all night on the phone that night before the exam? It was probably because you were babbling on and Ellen fell asleep with the phone off. Is that right? Wait, that doesn't make sense. Even so, Ellen didn't study. My ideal score, I mean, just a bit above passing. Any higher and it'd be a waste. Any lower and I'd get chewed out. It's a perfect report card. Worth a second look. Huh. What the hell? So, what do we have today, Venus? Did the smell of fresh coffee bring you over? More like the smell of a sweet gig. <laughs> well, this blend seems like it's particularly refreshing. Must be good for completing a major commission. Today's a bad day if you're planning on swacking off, because I've got the commission just for you. I'll take anything. You've always taken that approach to your work, which is precisely why I'm worried about you pushing yourself too hard. Look, lady, I gotta unlock the next Hollow Zero area before next before next week comes by. I've only got like three days. Anyway, you should have the commission now. Remember, don't overstrain yourself. I'll be right here waiting for the good news. Nice. Another one? Jeez, Louise, what the fuck? Oh no, wait, I just had to take a photo of this one, I think. Pay attention to the traffic lights! Be careful of moving vehicles, ma'am! I'll help you across! What are you anning about, young fellow? He's saying he'll help you across. Thanks, child. I'm not a child! You want to take a photo of me while I'm working? No problem. But don't write anything false about me. Last time someone used a photo of puppets of Bang Boo to fabricate a fake news title. Story titled Bang Boo's Boy Three-Year-Old, when it was actually just comforting the lost child. But I think you're a good person, so please feel free to take photos. Well, I really hope I'm not going to end up helping you with the getting, like, in trouble. Bang Boo's are adorable. Why would we ever want to put them in trouble? Wait! Don't leave! Just hear me out! Strange Man stops a Bangboo on its way back to public security. He seems to be familiar with the Bangboo. Seriously, you don't remember me? We're bloodies, you know. Executing the command, remember? Execution complete. Conclusion, I don't know you. I'm North, a Bangboo waiting for the Wumina Square precinct of public security. You're just a regular citizen passing by. No way. I'm not just some regular citizen passing by. I'm lost. Your one and only pal. Your best buddy ever. Unfortunately, my memory logs don't have a match for your best buddy ever. How can I assist you? If you need help, I can accompany you to public security. No, no, don't go to public security. Not me. It's you who can't go. You have an activity log, right? Check your actions for 11.21am today, and you'll understand what I mean. A good friend wouldn't lie to you. In response to the citizen's request, I'm now accessing my operation logs from 11.21 today. Access failed. The record shows that 11.21, I was... Dead. Dead is a biological term for organic life, not for Bang Boo. Why is there a record of incorrect log? 
Bengu's tone is strange, not like the usual service-oriented ones. Looks, look, it's all right if you don't understand. Just trust me and don't go to public security. They'll subject you to a, to a thorough inspection, and you'll probably get all matter to something, and your logs will be erased forever. Then you'll never uncover the truth about your death. Trust me, even if the whole world lies to you, I would never do anything like that. I'm here to save you, buddy. And look at this. I found this memory detective on the internet. A detective? Where? I don't underestimate her. As just a stylish young kid, her methods are extraordinary. She's a famous young detective on internet. Wait, are you talking about me? That's right. No need to hide your identity, great detective. You're among friends. Listen up. North, with the detective's help, we'll soon find your missing logs and uncover what really happened at 11.21. Just give us a bit more time. It's all right to hold off going back to public security for a few days, right? Trust me, you might not remember anything now, but once your memory is fixed, you'll see what I'm doing. Okay. <clears throat> okay, tracking down the reason for the Uranus record is a necessary step. I'll hold off on returning to public security and wait for you and your detective findings. I knew you'd say that, North. Now, detective. Mm. Let's discuss the rest of the investigation uh, somewhere else. Let me take a drink. <clears throat> Sorry for the trouble. Thanks for playing along with me. I'm not a detective. Of course you're not. I know you were just passing by. How can someone as young as you be a great detective on the internet? I was just trying to save my buddy, that is all. It's alright, I'll take it from here. Let's just pretend nothing happened. Oh, and here, take this and buy some snacks or something. Remember, nothing happened. I better make a post on the internet then. What is it gonna be that this guy put the memory of a friend of his that died into the bangboo? Or the memory of a different bangboo in there? You guys moved? I'm jealous. They all managed to whip their cones into perfect spheres. Hold the crispy one, twist and- oh, oh. Hold the crispy one, twist and lick, just like I showed you. Tried it. Totally doesn't work. The ice cream almost fell off. That's because you hit it, it hesitated too long and it melted. My hands are all sticky, and mine kept getting lopsided. Somehow I finished without trying to shape into a perfect circle. Tired soul, chilled stomach. If Mona finds out, she's gonna make you take medicine again. Don't tell her. Anyway, buddy, we had stuff to do. Anyway, back to business. There are two qualities that make a great officer. Exceptional valor and unshakable will. For officer cats, it's all about courage and determination. We'll test their determination. Determination is all about having the willpower to resist temptation. I'll play the role of a criminal trying to bribe an officer, and you, manager, will play the role of an upright officer. KK uh, attaches a replica officer badge to your chest. One might question if this is against the regulations of public security. This is not the most suitable role-playing game, to say the least. As for KK, portraying the bribe-taking criminal, he opens a can of cat food and puts it before him. As anticipated, the two kittens immediately pounce on the bribe without any hesitation. Hey, where are you going? The interview isn't over yet! Oh, those two. They're such a handful. You record the performance of the two future security cats. Uh, KK, I told you to get us a police dog. What are you doing here? Suddenly, a strange officer appears, checking out KK's interview results. She seems to be KK's partner. A human. Angry student. 
Seriously, that homework service I brought from you was a total disaster, you know? There were so many wrong answers. It was like I hadn't paid attention in class at all. I had to scramble to make up for it. There's nothing I can do. The mini-test is coming up and the top performing students are all studying hard. They don't have time to do your homework. I had to hire some college students from the neighborhood to make sure it was done on time. Tch, college students. No wonder there were so many mistakes. What a bunch of losers. I'm sorry, citizen. This security boot might be malfunctioning. If it's causing you any trouble... What are you talking about, Natalie? You... you... you're the one who's malfunctioning, not me! Instead of doing your job, you're playing with stray cats and talking back to me. But I was doing my job! You asked me to find an assistant, didn't you? Should I get your cognitive model checked? I specifically told you to find a police dog. Can't you tell the difference between dogs and cats? But you... didn't you say I could choose my own sidekick based on my own preferences? I... I was taking the interview seriously. And I even recorded the interviewee's information and their performances. You did write them down, right, manager? <laughs> now I'm curious about the results. Interviewee A, multicolored cat, gentle, no record of scratching humans. Interview performance, greedy and timid. Interview B, new era do orange tabby cat. Energetic and lively, one scratch the security boost exterior. Interview performance, timid, gluttonous. I don't think these interviewees have what it takes to work in public security. <sighs> really, KK, you should... But it really breaks my heart seeing them living a poor life on the streets. If I could just bring them back to public security, Natalie. All right, all right, I knew you had something else in mind. It just so happens I'm feeling a bit lonely at home, so I'll take those two silly cats. Just to be clear, they'll sleep in your room at night. That's wonderful! Natalie, I knew you were the best officer, the best partner ever. You always say that to me when you want something, you bad bang boo. You're the best, Natalie! Oh, hell, now there's nothing happening. Bart. Oh, God. Bart. 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 Show me the business. Hello! I'm Public Security Officer Mew Mew. Pleasure to be of service. Big splatter boo. Now oh, that's nighttime, anything could be going on. Vitamin D, deep sea fish oil, fiber, barley, fermented milk. <laughs> this is actually the tea milk ingredient list. Doesn't that look super healthy? I'm about to have a health check. Feels like I should drink something healthy. And the last thing tea milk should be responsible for is health, right? Making your mood better and holding the cup is to show off. That's the true purpose of tea milk. Mmm. Good. Stop comboing me with yawns and burps and other things. Right? Then I'll take a full sugar, lava cream, caramel tea milk and add every topping. Just saying it makes me feel better. No need to go from zero to a hundred. happening on this side of the road. That's not... Well, that is smooth. It is. That's the one. Well, look at that. your riddle okay I guess I don't talk to him right now then wow there's nobody out here during nighttime huh 
Is there any, like, bamboo that needs fixing during the night or something, though? So far, I'm not seeing anything. Go that way. Not a single soul is out here. I say that yet. Ah! Like this power box can't withstand the energy inside a direct strike from a bolt of lightning. Surely there's a safer way to store power. What are you talking about? This is one of my experiments, and safety has never entered the equation. Life is one big risk. Otherwise, we're just a bunch of randomly assorted molecules drifting in inter inner in inertly throughout the universe. That would be a sad indeed. I still have many things I'd like to achieve, so I have to keep taking risks. Oh yeah, by the way, that was a direct quote just from the genius but lonely scientist. Thanks so much for today. Once my experiment is rectified by the <laughs> Once my experiment is rectified by the world, I'll make sure to include you in my thank you speech. Hmm. Anything else though? Can I talk to this guy right now? Hmm. Search for suspicious individuals on 6th Street. Ah, hold on. We actually need to check out the plaza during night time. To see if there is any more. Oh, there is some bang. What are you doing? We are holding the first worst bang boo competition. Thank you for being our judge for this. Let's get judging. If something happens, I get really anxious. If something happens, I throw. If something happens, I'll sit down on the ground anxiously and throw. When I talk, I shout which disturbs others. When I talk, I never have anything good to say. When I talk, I shall disturb others and never have anything good to say. What do you think? Have you made your decision? Number three. It's gotta be three. Thank you for your important judgment. The inaugural Worst Bang Boo goes to Candid Candidate Boo 3. Hmm. What are you, I can literally put someone I know as, as Candidate Boo 3. I'm hungry. So hungry. I've already dr drawn my daily feed of power to keep my vitals going, but I still feel hungry. Charging power won't impact your weight. I'm not trying to control my weight, only my battery life. A bangu with 30% charge looks more at at attractive and charming, but I feel so hungry with only 30. I have no idea what controlling battery charge means. Actually, I don't really understand your human concept of weight loss and dieting either, but I feel like the principles are pretty much the same. Whatever you imagine it to be. Is it ringing again? I think I can hear the clock tower ringing again. But I still haven't jumped out of this timeline yet. What are you talking about? Huh? <laughs> My world was destroyed in a cataclysmic disaster, and if I can change the timeline to rebuild casualty, then perhaps I can save my home world. I can already feel this timeline isn't right. There has to be a timeline out there where noodles aren't savory. That's the only timeline that can truly impact my home timeline. I have to keep jumping into other timelines or it'll be too late! I 
I mean, from how the story's going, the game already teased that things are gonna explode. So you've got a lot on your mind. It's so nice to have someone to sigh with who doesn't ask me anything. I feel much better now. That breaks my heart to think about that artwork wasting away with the ballet twins. Bamboo crossing the river of dreams, the star, the dancer, and the hollow. Oh, I really just want to rush into the hollow and hug them all. You just end up breaking them. You're right. Love an artist so fragile they could vanish in an instant if not taken care of. It's the kind of beauty that's fleeting. Can you just talk like a normal person? Sorry, I got a bit carried away. When there aren't many people around, I can't help but be overwhelmed by the beauty of this lonely, mysterious building. Okay, buddy. You're crazy. You're fucking booty. into a little black cat. Looks like it's asleep. <gasps> Someone's following me! It's gotta be someone following me! Hey there, need any help? It must be my boss. He's always trying to catch me slacking off. All he wants is to send me back to work. I said I was, not, I was gonna go see a client, so I will leave the office for a little fresh air, but he seems to have followed me. Oh, no, this job is unbearable. I can't take it anymore. Yeah, maybe we shouldn't worry about him. The woman stares at Hal. Hello? <laughs> Hal? Oh, it's claws, tongue, and tail. I could watch it all day. <laughs> Looks like she's just one of Hal's fans. Sure, it's weird, but she doesn't seem like a bad person. At this rate, we won't reach the end of this tiny street before dawn. Get moving! Uh, I know, but you see, it's scary walking down the street at night. Just look at that street light over there and the trash can. Sita, there can be headless ghosts behind in there. Why are you scared of something that doesn't even exist? And even if there were ghosts, we could just beat them up, right? Guardian of Sixth Street? I have no idea what you're guarding. <clears throat> What's just the... I, I know I need to scream, but I can't. I mean, I could just go... <gasps> anyway, a ghost! Who the heck are you? You scared me half to death! You should hurry home, otherwise the headless ghost will emerge. Let's just get going. Wait, don't leave me behind! Hmm, well, I felt like someone's been stalking my social media account and tracking my whereabouts. Looks like I need to dress down with my drip and stay out of the limelight. Who's following you? There's a girl in school who has a crush on me. She's been stalking my social media page this time to create a chance encounter, but I got no interest in her whatsoever. <laughs> or dress down with my drip and wear something even more hillbilly. Gotta get her to lose her interest in me as soon as possible. 
just seems like one of those guys who easily fall for their own narcissistic delusions. Definitely a bad guy.